don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? What is this place? Well, in ancient times, this used to be a tourist town. My people have lived here and on the island for generations. But now everyone's crowded onto the docks just trying to survive another day. We have more than our fair share of problems. You aren't here to add to them, are you? I need information about a synth refuge on this island. Ah, another Commonwealth traveler looking for Arcadia then. Damn it. Mariners incoming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hall, stranger. Don't fall off! If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog, and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. For your help when we needed it, you deserve this. 
What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. If you managed to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damned hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. Well, what's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee... Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. Fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do that's happened before. Sure, people have theories that children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're headed for Acadia, right? Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. What's old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But... Uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Welcome to the bait shop. If you need any odds and ends, I'm your... Trade. Let's set you up.
<clears throat> You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tear. family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations, even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich, but they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Wait, are you saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there. Waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame that. Where did you say these ghouls were? National Park Campground. It's pretty much straight west of here. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. I'll be damned if I give up on taking that money. Mariner. The hull took a battering. To be sure. She wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. The only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. You've kept the walls together this long. Why do you need special tools now? I want to build the hull up proper, make it strong, and keep those blasted crabs out. Good. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get.